Hi guys, Barbie for Spurred on outside the lane. We finally, well I say finally, we've just beaten Sunderland 1-0, but it felt like it was finally because half time it was 0-0. We were absolutely bombarding their goal. The keeper made a few decent saves, Sonny hit the post. It felt like it might be one of those days, but in the end, quality shone through. Got a decent goal, a bit of lucky, uh, bad defending from the Sunderland centre-back. I think it might have been Kone and Harry scored at the back stick. Very similar goal to the Stoke one last week. Um, and, you know, it was a deserved victory. It really was. I'm going to say this. Any three points in the Premier League is a good three points. I know a lot of uh, Spurs fans will feel like we should be burying teams like this. It's not always as simple as that. First game this season, David Moyes set Sunderland up away at Man City. And City only scored in the last minute to win that match. These things can happen, especially when you've got Jermaine Defoe on the pitch, who really wants to score. Uh, they had Stephen Pino on the pitch, ex-Spurs, obviously wanting to play well. And they had some talent. And, you know, if you don't score an early goal, you don't get a second, you don't roll them over, and you're only 1-0 up going into the last few minutes, anything can happen. They had a couple of little chances. It could have been different, and the Spurs fans going away from here would be very upset. As far as I'm concerned, five games gone, three wins, two draws, three clean sheets, I think. Up there in third in the league, Everton have had a good start but City are the ones who have really kind of turned it over. Five wins for them. I don't think we're quite up to their level. We haven't really started playing as well as we did in the second half of last season yet. But as Sir Alex Ferguson always said, the key is if you're playing badly, nick your wins, get your wins, get your points on the board, keep your clean sheets. And what we've got is the spine and the backbone and the depth in squad, I think now, to really push on and improve on last season. Our start to this season has been so much better than last. Uh, I think after five games last season, I don't know whether the City game was a fifth game, let me know in the comments box below, but we certainly didn't have any more than one win after five games. We've now got 11 points, third place in the league. Man United and Chelsea, they've already both lost two games. We haven't lost yet, it's important. Keep the confidence up, keep the spirit going. Start bedding in those players into the squad, which happened today. I thought Musa Sissoko looked okay. Six or seven out of 10. He looked like he wanted it, maybe he was trying a bit hard, but he played well. Hung Min Son scored two last week, for me, Man of the match was between him and Moussa Dembele today. Obviously, it was great to have Moussa back. Moussa did what Moussa does. Absolutely fantastic. Eight, nine out of ten every game for Moussa Dembele. But Hung Min Son really was our, our creative outlet all day. Getting at his full back. Step over, outside, crossing it in. We made so many chances from his crosses in the first half especially. Uh, he got his fullback booked in the second half and he just had him on toast all day. And to me, I was surprised because I haven't really seen Sonny play on the left and get to the byline that much. Usually he likes to cut in, like all of our players tend to like to cut in from wide, play, wide berths. But today he was really getting on the outside of him and getting some lovely left-footed crosses. He's genuinely both-footed, Hyung Min Son. And if defenders who we come up against know that we've got a player who can not only cut inside and make play down the centre, but get down to the byline and get it into, into the box a lot, then it will make it much harder to defend against uh, in the forthcoming games this season. Also, bear in mind, the goal came from across from Carl Walker as well, as it did in the first match against Everton as well. His crossing has improved no end. And I think Poch must be telling them to get more crosses in now, because also against Stoke, Carl got an assist there as well. Really good defender. Get him in your fantasy team if you haven't. I think Carl Walker's having an absolutely brilliant season, carrying on from what he did in the Euros, where he, him and Eric Dyer were basically England's two standout players. Like I said before, a win is a win. Uh, it wasn't pretty at times. We made a lot of chances. We weren't clinical. I'll admit that we weren't clinical. And we've got a bit of a worry. Eric Dyer went off with uh, what looked like a slight injury. And Harry Kane at the end, not a player who tends to go down easily. He looked to me like he might have rolled an ankle or something. Now, obviously, they'll be rested against Gillingham on Wednesday. But I think, I said it in one of the fan camps, be careful what you wish for all you Spurs fans who are saying Harry Kane needs a rest. And, oh, maybe this injury will be a blessing in disguise. Because if he's out for anywhere longer than a week, two weeks, we will miss him. The donkey work he does. I like Janssen and I think he's a good player. Great hold-up player, but we would miss Harry Kane. I can promise you that. Two goals uh, in a row in the league now, and um, I'm not one of those people who think he should be rested personally. I think the work he does off the ball and in terms of bringing other people into play is often not given enough credit. And, uh, of course, he just loves scoring a goal. Anyway, guys, let us know what you think of that performance in the comments box below. What you thought of my opinions, of course. You know, I'm sure lots of you will have different opinions. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Drop this video a like if you haven't already. And follow us on Twitter and Facebook, at Spurred on TV. Stay behind the boys. Gillingham on Wednesday. Let's get a win. See some of the younger players. Come on, you Spurs.